Uh, today's a big day, we've got Flower back on the channel. Just doing some potting practice before we meet Flower and get traveling. Oof, to the broom. Right, Potting Basics 101. And you could take from this as you want. You don't have to listen to all of this. Some of this might, might help you, some of it may not, depending on what sort of like putting style you have. But I'm focusing on just a couple things. And this goes from, from me putting terribly recently to me rolling it nicely again and feel like, feeling like I'm gonna hold putts. So the first thing I'm thinking about is eye line. So I'm getting one of these putting mirrors. This is massive. When I first got this putting mirror, imagine your eye line over the putting mirror. Mine was like back off of it and wonky. So I'm trying to get my left eye looking down on this putting mirror straight over the ball. I'm trying to get my eye line directly along the target line. Once I've got that, firstly, it feels like we can start rolling some putts nicely. And once we've got the left eye level with the ball and the eye line perpendicular to the target line, it's that will sort of ball position out. Because if I've got my left eye there, I'm naturally going to have the ball position in the right place. It feels like it's at the bottom of the arc or maybe just ahead of the bottom of the arc. All right, so my eye line was back here before. So it was like wonky and off the ball. My ball position was way too far forward. Imagine trying to get the ball started online and trying to consistently strike putts when your eyes are literally nowhere, they have no relation to the target line. And then what I like to do, let the arms hang and then compress them into the lats. So it's a bit of like a squeeze in motion. So you're trying to get them in, that locks them into your body. And from there you can just rock the shoulders. And it's literally as simple as that eye line, let the arms hang, lock them into the body, make sure that putt is square, and from there, rock. Striking putts is probably not something you've, you may not have thought about before. When you start getting that putter rocking in nicely, arcing, and you start striking it at the bottom or just ahead of the bottom of the arc, you start to feel really like you're just rolling that putter. Harold Flower! What was that? It seems like everything is nominal. <laughs> nominal? Yeah, as in everything's like as it should be to plan. Like you're f***ing late. Just Yours getting my stuff together. Oh, you, you got have. a new motor. You got a new motor, Shan. You got some nice alloys on there as well. Cheers, Michelle. Those alloys are very expensive. 15 grand a pop. Upgraded. They look really... Cactus chromium. Solid, actually. You got the all-terrain tyres as well. Love it. Oh yeah, that be uh, we'll be going. Yeah, we'll be going off road, shall we? Going to Shrewsbury. What? Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. Just north of Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. Good night. Wonderful stuff. I will be selling this one to my audience. Shall we sign it with a chalk pen? Do you reckon stuff's worth more if we sign it? Because we are literally well, world-renowned golfers. I reckon it'd be worth less, mate, to be honest. Probably, yeah. Shall I just... There you go. I'll just leave that there, so if you break hard, you're just going to get decapitated. <laughs> uh, Do you know what goes well with a battery? A detonator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I've just got a vision of you turning up, bro. Photo caddy battery strapped around your chest. <laughs> what we got here? The old Puma, old school, lovely, smart shoes. Wouldn't go amiss on Harry Flower on a snooker table. Quite incredible. As smart as they come, John. Oh, yeah, well, I'm a professional athlete in both sports now, aren't I? I've played at an international level at both sports. Yeah. Two sports I have. You've got dicked on What's the next? international level. <laughs> so what we have here is Harry Flower's every single day. A day in the diet of Harry Flower golf. So we have a staple and we have the Gibster's Cornish pasty. Followed by the brioche rolls. This is an absolute staple in the Harry Flower diet and this is why he is so shredded. Myself up. Onwards. Onwards and upwards, John. Onwards to Shrewsbury. A like, lovely town. Like just outside of continental ballistic missile, John. Right, here we are. Hello, I come. More Red BB. Right, so this is the BB and 
the golf barn where they've got like a custom fit studio in on the left. It does look sick actually. Yeah, it does. Set of breakfast and a golf studio. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Red and black. Ah, oh, it's another cactus. Two cactuses in your own bloody place. I've been in the desert. Will you ever believe this? A two Citroen C4 cactus. We've driven 210 miles. There's only five of these cars in the world. Can't believe it. <coughs> yes, it's the Moorhead B&B. Absolutely lovely. Ooh, this is a lot nicer than the, uh, the usual accommodation that me and Flower come to. I'm going to show you the golf barn in a minute. You've got a little view out there. Beautiful. Right, we're at the golf barn. This is sick. This place is unreal. But no before way. we show you around the golf barn, Flowers just There's noticed There's no way I'm built for golf. Look, at, look how skinny my legs are. I've got nothing going through. Like, absolutely nothing. But when it comes to snooker, it's like, I have the perfect body for it. It's like... The legs and everything, they look better. <laughs> <laughs> You're just built for wanking up horses, aren't you? I knew you would say that. We're in crew. Right, this could be one of the roughest uh, parts of crew, to be honest. Anyone from crew know where this is? We are. Um, off the rails. Um, off the rails snooker club, Golden Phoenix up there. We just parked around the back, but we couldn't walk around because there was a person without a home uh, blocking the pathway. So we've had to park around here. Um, but there it is, off the rails. That mate, he was off the rails, wasn't he? I think he's a bit more than off the rails. I think he was off his nut. <laughs> Just around midnight. Bum, 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 bum. Here comes. 